Okay, here we go. Um, this video is about getting larvae, um, golden larvae, serena larvae, uh, alban larvae, just all kinds of different types of larvae. Um, larvae can obviously be deconstructed into uh, fertilizer, eutogen, uh, the T1 and the T2. Um, so it has a larva has a lot of uses. Um, the easiest way to get to it. So I don't. I mean, they may with the next update they may take it out, but right now, um, there's the mothership <laughs> and the grid. The grid's great for getting um, uh, asteroids. You know, picking up all kinds of asteroids because it doesn't get down into the grass and the trees. It's easy to pick up up the top. Um, so it makes it a lot easier to, to manage. Um, we're going to go back up to the grid, what I refer to as the grid. Um, this is the mothership, and then, then this is obviously the top of the grid. Um, there's a tower that goes up, uh, 1,200 I don't know if you call it feet or whatever the measurement is they have for altitude. And then you can see there's other stations. I think there's one at 2,000 feet, one at 4,000, one at 8,000, one at 12,000, and then one at 20,000. And I'll show you a shortcut on how to build those too. So essentially, we're just going back down here. And we're going to go to here. And this is obviously... You know, if you want to go to 2,000 feet, um, this is where you can kind of see. It's a little cloudy, a little hazy, but you can kind of see um, what's going on there. And, of course, if you get up to 20,000 feet, then you don't see anything. <laughs> Everything kind of goes away. Um you can kind of see the moons if you, well, you can kind of see them in the video, but as you move around, they, I went up to 40,000 feet and it just, I mean, it just kind of stays like this. The horizon stays just like this. And of course you can't see anything, um, at 20,000 feet or again, whatever the measurement is. And you can't see the moons as you can tell the moons or other planets, whatever they are, just kind of disappear. Um, so then if we go to the tower, and what you see here is you kind of get a feel for the whole map. So obviously here's the waterfall is over there. There's the asteroid crater. Um, here's where the mothership is and the big grid. The grid disappears because how far we are away, but the mothership still shows up. There's the ring uh, ship over there. There's the canyon um, and, and so you kind of get an idea of what's to the east. And then when you go to the west, this is where you see the Finger Lakes. You see the, the Dust Bowl, <clears throat> some of the other uh, pieces that are, that are on this side. But right over here, where this, this is where the lower patch came in. And this is where the big outdoor, uh, I don't know what you call it, temple or whatever you want to call it is. And where you read the main tablet of, you know, why the aliens built what they did and why they came, you know, whatever. But right here in this little gap between these rocks, um, you can actually fly. I have a little, uh, I have a transporter here, teleporter here. We're going to teleport over there. And then we're going to run up through these rocks. And you kind of get into this little area right here. And all it is is larva. I mean, larva just start appearing out of nowhere. So let's go take a look at that. Grab some water real quick. Um, so we'll go back down here. We'll go to the teleporter. And we're going to go to that larva. So those are those rocks right there. And of course, here's the Finger Lakes over there. So we're going to go right up in between these rocks. I don't know how long this is going to be here. I don't know if they're going to patch over it or if the next patch is going to build something on top of this. I don't know. So I don't put a lot over here. I just put some stuff over here just, you know, to kind of food and stuff like that. But 
once you get over here, um, you want to build some platforms, and I'll show you why in a minute, why you want to build the platforms. But um, as you start walking around, and it's kind of weird because you can see where you go from like the, the normal outside ground. It's almost like you go into the temple, but you can kind of tell we're underneath the temple. We're actually behind it. Um, but as you can see, larvae just start showing up, and you just click on them, you know, and, and even the larvae you don't want. And you'll notice that if, if you start picking up the larvae you don't want, the larvae you do want starts popping up uh, just because of the, the sequence. And obviously the Serena larva is very, very useful. And you'll get mostly of those. I think I have 44 containers of, of Serena larva. Um, and, and the reason why is when you deconstruct them, you get uh, mutagen T2, you get the black fertilizer, um, which you can actually take the you can actually take either one of those and then deconstruct those and get even more. Um, but as you can see, I mean, larvae just start popping up everywhere. And again, I don't discriminate. I just pick up whatever there is. Uh, there's some album, but I don't think we can get to it. That's the other thing is you're going to find some walls, and you'll find out why I built the platforms here in a minute. Um, yeah, I can't get to it. Um, I'll just pick up a bunch of these. And then I go in here to the deconstructor. As you can see, I already have a bunch in there. <laughs> and I just get rid of the ones I don't want. Um, but what that does is that causes the whatever spawning engine they have um, to create more larvae. Now, the reason why you need this is you'll notice that there's walls. Like, I can't go past this. There's a wall right here. And it's invisible. You can't see it, but there's a wall. But if you go out to this platform, pick up this Serena real quick, and then come back up, the walls, you can actually enter into the walls and walk around inside whatever this room is or whatever this whatever that wall was there for. Um, there's other walls, like there's a wall right here, and you can't get past this wall for whatever reason. Um, but as long as you kind of stay in the middle, then you don't really care because the larva won't... Um, um, form over there you know they for whatever reason whatever uh, engine they have it just it kind of the larvae kind of form around close to where you're at all the time um so by doing this you could just i mean again you just pick up tons of larvae you'll get uh, golden larvae you'll get serena albin um just just all kinds of, of different types of larvae um and then you can even, if you want to, you can even transport out or fly out. doesn't really matter either way. Um, so let's just say we want to go out for a second. So we're going to turn on our jets. And you'll notice the water just disappears, which is really weird. But I'm sure they'll fix that in the next release. But um, call this the dinosaur ruins just because it looks weird this is like a big footprint um and i'm sure this is going to be part of the next update i don't know and then you just fly back um and there's a lot of larvae that gets uh, generated here too but it's it's not any of the serena or the golden they only get uh generated by the temple around the temple um so as long as you're underneath the temple or behind the temple, then then you'll you'll find all kinds of larvae that you probably want. Um, so now we're back, so it's it's regenerated everything, um, and you just start walking around a little bit, and there they go. Before you know it, you'll have a whole inventory list of serenas and and golden larvae and whatever else you want. Um, and then, like I said, is if you take those and deconstruct them, you get all kinds of things that would probably take you, you know, unless you're building the automatic, um, oh, there's some Fjord T larva. There's another golden one and another blue one, a lot of Serena larva, which you're going to get the most of. 
They're like everywhere. Um, you can tell it just keeps coming. Some LARPing. Another Serena. Another Serena. Anyway, that's the gist of the larva. There's obviously water over here. Um, so you can actually come over here and drink. Um, I built a couple of, of uh, buildings just so I could put some food in it and stuff when I get low on food. Um, but nothing major. I mean, it's it's pretty basic. And my, my fear is, is that whenever they update this, that this area will disappear or they'll do something more with the temple and won't be able to get back to this place. So I didn't want to build anything that, that uh, I could lose, like a you know teleporter or anything like that. I didn't want to build any of that around here. Don't store a lot of, of things in those buildings other than just uh, stuff I might need. Um, that kind of gives you the base of it. And then once you get, you know, completely full of... of um, and see how many we picked up in, you know, just a really short amount of time. And then um, I just deconstruct them when I need to, when I need mutagen or, uh, you know, black fertilizer or any of those things. Um, I don't have to go make it. I don't have to, you know, use a manufacturing machine. Um the automation machines, I don't have to do any of that. Not that those are bad. I mean, I've used them and, and they're great, but they kind of take the fun out of the game for me because I'd rather, you know, um, be out collecting stuff and doing stuff and letting time pass than actually just letting the automation machines go out there and build it for me and then go from there. Um... I'll put my save level out there. I don't know if they'll let you load a save level from another player or not. I don't know if they have any kind of checks and balances built into the system. But if anybody wants to play this level, I'll put a link out there for it. And you can go out there and download the link and, and uh, play around with this level if you want to. Um, anyway, that's it. Hope that helps you guys.